Why hello you're watching me have a look at the Star Trek official Starships collection we are looking at number 36 and I must say it's the most disgusting ugliest things I've ever seen class of ship um, interesting note just to point out on the front it says the Pegasus on the model I'm not sure you can make it out it's a crimson get your facts right please so I've got the Pegasus and I've got the Grimson. Um, history of the ship. Pegasus is the one that was testing the phase cloak. And then they got stick, got, ended up getting stuck in a rock. Um, Riker was on board as an officer. It was mentioned... Well, it wasn't mentioned. It was a whole episode on it on Next Generation. And it was mentioned on the last episode of Star Trek Enterprise. Which really should have been the last episode. The episode before when there was the Vulcan child. Which was half human, half... That should have been the last episode. Anyway... Let's have a look at the magazine, shall we? Rant, rant, rant. Um, as always, magazines are laminated, nice and shiny, quite thick. I hate this class of ship. I hate this class of ship. I hate this class of ship. Oh, look, it has some phaser banks, and that's about your weaponry. After all, it is a science ship or a hideous ship. Take your pick. I'd actually be embarrassed if someone said to me, Oh, come into the office. Oh, well, cool. We're going to give you your own command. Oh, brilliant. I'm going to get my own command. You're going to have one of these. Um, can I just have a shuttle? How about a garbage scowl? Honestly, embarrassing ships. I think they are anyway. Um, some details. Some Ooh, that's a pretty picture. Look at that for a pretty picture. When was that? Not all were crewed by Starfleet. It was operating a civilian crew. That looks quite a nice picture. That's a really nice picture of one. I reckon Eagle must just start doing some ships with damage on them. Um, some more pretty pictures. Obviously, there's a Grimson when it was getting blown up on Search for Spock. You got the Pegasus stuck in the rock from the phase cloaking device. I think that was from either the second or third episode of Next Generation when. Data ended up somehow getting infected with a virus and ended up getting up to no good with Tasha Yar. I think, don't quote me on that. Uh, he got some pretty pictures. Oh yeah, look, there's the forge in his red. When he wasn't actually chief of engineer, he was, I think it was Helms. Which was really weird. Um, yeah, pretty pictures. Pretty pictures. Like I said, I hate this designer ship. I think it's hideous. It's disgusting. Oh, look. Look at Space Dock. Looks like someone's taking a shot at it. Some pretty pictures of, uh, I guess it's Search for Spock. Yeah, looks like the Genesis planet. Uh, Vulcan Homeworld. Yeah. Yuck. Oh, my eyes. They're bleeding. I think that's the best shot of it I've seen. Blown up into about 15 pieces. Um, key appearances, we'll see your search for Spock and an out of focus Pegasus. Um, there's not much else to say really on that front, other than I don't like it. What we got coming up next, we've got an Andorian bound cruiser, our first Andorian ship. Yay! Let's have a look at the model then. Maybe I should just throw it against the wall, improve its looks, shall we? Open sesame! Quite a, quite a heavy model. Is it the base itself? No, the ship The ship is heavy. Making up for its poor build, 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 build. There we are. So she is the Grimson. Is that what is that registration? It's not too big, really, isn't it? Straight away, you can see the windows aren't lined up. You can clearly make out none of the windows are lined up at all. NCC 638. You thought there'd be another number on the end, isn't there? I am bothered to check. I'm sure that registration's too short. Um, you know, Federation planets, blah, blah, blah. It's very heavy, though. It's very heavy for what it is. But you can clearly see all the windows aren't painted in. And they're all out of alignment. Look at that. Seriously? Ridiculous. Um... It's top end heavy, so that's metal. 
That's plastic. It's plastic. The sensor pod's plastic. Look at that sensor pod. Stupid. Stupid. It's hideous. It would have been better if they got rid of the sensor pod, I reckon. Or have the sensor pod actually stuck on it instead of dangling below it. Because how are you meant to get that sensor pod for service and maintenance? Down these. It's just me nitpicking, isn't it? So, what do we find out? We found out the windows don't line up properly. Joints aren't too bad. There's not much in a way of prettiness along the side. They're all just painted on. All the back's not too bad. Obviously, you've got painted in the impulse. That's quite nice. See, there's a little bit of paint missing. Mm. Yeah. I'm just going to go, yeah, don't like it. These are actually indents. If you hold it like that, you can see it's indented. It's not half bad. It's not bad. I'm being criticism, criticism, yeah, being negative for no reason, really. It's a very rough little filler. You can see it's all rough there. The paint's all gone. What happens if the camera focused properly? So you can see all the paint's all chipped off and it's really rough along there. Smooth, rough. It even looks like it's actually loose. I can push that in and out. This sense of pot's rubbish. It feels sturdy enough though. Like I said, the top. That's all completely solid. But anyway, that's enough of the Grimson. All the Pegasus. So there you go. I will catch you on my next one. I'd like to thank you for watching. And bye-bye.